Today, I'm sawing latch for one of my industrial clients. Each year, this customer uses hundreds of 6x8 beams to stack what he produces in his yard. This client selected to use beams made from larch because of the many advantages of this wood. I'll talk more about that later in this video. Larch is an important resource in my region and represents a significant source of income for private woodlot owners. Furthermore, since the big sawmills do not deal with sawing this wood, it also represents a niche for small operations like mine. Each piece of wood has to be 98 inches long, so I made a yardstick that I used to cut the log before transferring it to the mill. I just love the saw bench I built for my mill. It's strong, adaptable, efficient, and costs almost nothing to build. To learn more about building this bench and see how I take it apart and put it back together in no time, I invite you to watch this video. As you see, it's extremely easy to transfer logs weighing several hundred pounds from this bed to my mill. I can transfer logs of more than 32 inches wide and weighing more than 1500 pounds without help and with a simple PV as a tool. Once on the mill bed, I can easily manipulate the logs with the different hydraulic options of my mill for a minimum of forcing and a maximum of efficiency. I'm pretty picky about the quality of the logs I buy. Among other things, I don't buy logs smaller than 10 inches at the small end. I know that today's large sawmills are organized to cut small caliber lumber because they need large resources to supply their mills. Personally, I favor a more traditional approach where the wood is selectively harvested as it matures and therefore gives us more bang for our buck while respecting nature's production capacity. I sincerely believe that it is still possible today to harvest wood in a sustainable manner and to conserve our forests in a state where the diversity of plants and animals is minimally disturbed. With large logs, I can produce the beams for my customer and get out plenty of lumber for my woodworking projects. In addition, I eat my house and workshop with the waste from the mill. I should be able to produce two 6x8 beams with this log, and that's not counting 2 inches planks, boards, and firewood. Now, a few words about the main characteristics and benefits of large wood. Large is known for its high density and resistance to decay, making it perfect for use in outdoor structures.
Larch wood is stronger than most other softwoods, making it an ideal material for structural beams. Its high density and strength make it capable of supporting heavy loads without bending or breaking. Larch wood is naturally resistant to decay and rot, making it a great choice for outdoor structures that are exposed to the elements. Its durability means that it can last for many years without the need for frequent maintenance or replacement. Larch is also known for its stability and resistance to warping or shrinking. This makes it a great choice for use in construction, where stability is essential for the safety and longevity of the structure. Larch wood has a beautiful natural appearance that adds warmth and character to a new structure. Its warm reddish brown color and distinct grain pattern make it an attractive choice for both indoor and outdoor use. Larch wood is also a sustainable choice for construction, as it is a fast-growing tree that is abundant in my region. It is also a renewable resource, as new trees will rejuvenate naturally to replace those that are harvested. Personally, I regularly use lumber produced from large. This was the case in the construction of my dream workshop. In the upcoming weeks, I will be producing a short video to show you how I will use large boards to finish the exterior of this building. If you like this video, I ask you to consider subscribing to my channel and signifying your approval by giving it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.